Let's travel over to America, where we're going to speak to the host of the Politics People podcast, Paul Dudridge. Right, Paul, talk to me. Trump funding through the roof. People are putting money towards Donald Trump. Talk to me about this. The indictment is good for business. This is all I can say. In, in the first three months of 2023, Trump raised uh, $18 million for campaign funds. In the last two weeks, he's done about $17 million. So he's practically doubled his coffers just because of this indictment. So I think he's probably got three more indictments to come, and he's welcoming them, frankly. They are extraordinarily good for fundraising. It really has energized that base. So it's been good news for Trump on that score, uh, but sadly, I, I, the, the bad news is for Trump, I think that now Ron DeSantis has introduced uh, a law in Florida banning abortions after six weeks. And I think that that has now made it impossible for any Republican to win in 2024. It is an own goal of Kia Starmer proportions. It's quite extraordinary. Mm, really? So the Americans feel that strongly about this. So, but is there not a way around it that, that Trump could get around and change that or... Would he be in support of it? It seems a bit yeah. odd that Ron DeSantis would do that. Well, Tr Trump has said he's, he's pro-life in the when he was uh, campaigning in 2016. Mm. However, it would be sensible for him to come out and uh, just let uh, just let the law. There's a thing called codifying. So we all get caught up in the Roe v. Wade and whether it's constitutional, etc. They can actually just pass a law in the U.S. and make it the law of the land. The Democrats don't want to do that because it suits them. Because you could get Hunter Biden to win next year with this standing the way it is. These, you know, the the abortion rights being taken away. Trump, if he's sensible, will come out and uh, request that it's actually codified for the United. States. That's his, I think now it's the only chance of winning because there is no Republican can go up against any Democrat now uh, without being shot down immediately. It's most, remember, we talked about this with the midterm elections. We were the only people talking about this, that the, the new voter registration after the repeal of Roe v. Wade in the States, without being too technocratic, was, was uh, resulting in a two-to-one women-to-men vote, new voter registration. And a lot of those new voters were saying that this was the number one issue. We had MAGA women, we had MAGA voters voting for Democrats because of the repeal of Roe v. Wade. And so this is, this is a huge issue. I cannot quite believe that he's done it. The only, the, the conspiracy theorist in me is that DeSantis knows he can't win. And so he's making it so that no Republican can win next well, year. And that leaves the field clear. Mm, it sort of feels like the fox and the grapes, that Aesop fable where, you know, if I can't have it, then nobody can, which is a bit, yeah. which is a bit dim, really, because unfortunately that means that there will be another Democrat at the head. And uh, briefly, then, we've got about 20 seconds. If um, it is unlikely that Joe Biden will be able to lead if the Democrats get in, who is their potential candidate? Well, honestly, it probably will now have to be Kamala. I keep saying that Hillary is not off the table, but... But with this background, Kamala could do it. I swear. This is this is the the, the horror of this. It's it's like, you know, MAGA, MAGA people will say one thing outside the voting booth. They will not vote for uh, having uh, abortion rights taken away. They will not vote for it. It's as simple as that. It's so unpopular. It's crazy. Well, listen, Paul, thank you very much. Always a pleasure to talk to you. That's Paul Dudridge. He's there in L.A. He's the host of the Politics People podcast.